Hey everybody, Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're here for the first time, be sure to go down here and click subscribe. After that, ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we put a video out, which is always on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today, we're in Cherokee, North Carolina, outside of the Museum of the Cherokee Indian. I've been here before, but it's been many years ago. But this time, I'm going to take you with me. But right after this station, identification. For the Cherokee, the dance was a combination of many things, entertainment, education, and a form of prayer. And though many have been lost, there's some that still perform, such as the green corn dance, the beaver dance, eagle dance, the booger dance, and the friendly dance. When the Europeans came to the North America, they wanted everything, and they took it. Henry Timberlake, he said this concerning smoking the peace pipe. This ceremony I could have waved as smoking was always very disagreeable to me. But it was, as it was a token of their anonymity, they might be offended if I did not comply. I put on the best face I was able, though I dared not even wipe the end of the pipe that came out of their mouths. And here's some clothing from the Cherokee men. And Cherokee women. And if you notice, I believe the men were more adorned. Here are some trade items, knives, some tomahawks, of course beads. I thought this was pretty interesting. Henry Timberlake said, were the Cherokees contracted into fortified settlement governed by laws and remoter from the English, they might become formidable. But who would seek to live by labor? Who can live by amusement? The sole occupations of the Indian life are hunting and warring abroad and laying lazy at home. Want is said to be the mother of industry, where their wants are supplied at an easier rate. And Corn Tassel, here on the left, said, You say, why do not the Indians till the ground and live as we do? May we not, with equal propriety, ask, why do the white people not hunt and live as we do? The great God of nature has placed us in different situations. He has indeed given you an advantage in this, that your cattle are tame and domestic while ours are wild and demand not only a larger space for range, but art to hunt and kill them. Two different views on culture.
this lady's story is how the soldiers came right into her house and told them that they had to leave. And they had to leave the North Carolina mountains to be moved out west to reservation. Something that we can know from fact that the Cherokee did have a written language and many of the Indians that were on the Trail of Tears, as it came to be known, wrote personal accounts of what happened and their journey across the United States to try to be settled out west. And many didn't make it. Indian by the name of Tisali, here's his name if I'm not pronouncing it right. He tried to hide. He was a farmer, he didn't want to leave. But during the struggle, he wound up killing two soldiers and he was forced to be executed. And this was a gun that was used, an actual weapon that was used in his execution. telling a story here of how the Timberlake family buried one after another of their ch children and family members on the Trail of Tears as they crossed over the mountains during the winter. Here is an image of Sequoia. He's the only individual in 5,000 years of recorded history that is known to devise a complete writing system without first being literate himself in some language. He had a white father, and in English he was known as George Kist, and his father disowned him, but he was raised by his mother. And he had an injured leg, but he still helped her in his farming, and he also became an accomplished silver, silversmith. And here's a stone tablet with the Cherokee alphabet on it. And you can hear as they pronounce out the individual letters. Here are some books that was written in the Cherokee language. This one here? Yeah. It's the New Testament. Translated into Cherokee. This is called the Chamber of the Sitting Voices. These were known as the five civilized tribes, the Chickasaw, the Creeks, the Cherokee, Choctaws, and Seminoles. And these tribes represented the tribes that were rounded up and moved out. This tells the story of William, William Holland Thomas was adopted by Cherokee chief, Drowning Bear. He also came to be a colonel in the Confederate Army. And here's some of his clothing. Here's a trunk that was owned by him. And a shirt and a jacket. The only white man 
to ever be chief of the Cherokee. Holland also went before the federal government to petition the right for the Cherokees to remain in the mountains. And finally, in 1866, North Carolina finally accepted and recognized their rights to be residents of North Carolina. Right here in 1864 is where the last surrender of the Confederate Army was surrendered, right here in Franklin, North Carolina. William Holland Thomas, Colonel, surrendered. His men, made up mostly of Cherokee Indians and mountain men. And Holland, by the way, was the only white man to ever serve as chief to the Cherokee. Right here in Franklin. We have now come to the end of our trip to the Museum of the Cherokee Indian. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go down here and click subscribe. After that, ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we put a video out, which is always Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you would, consider becoming a sponsor slash patron to help fund future adventures. But for now, y'all have a good day.